Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low-budget wonder. Now check this out. First thing you want to do is add some salt to some boiling water. You want to cook this for just a couple minutes until that salt completely dissolves. And once that happens, you want to go ahead and remove it from the heat. And then you're going to add in some ice. Now you want to let this brine sit and cool for at least five minutes. Now here I've got about three and a half pounds of chicken wings. But they need to be cut into portions. So you want to slice between the drumlet and the winget like this. And then you want to cut off the tip. And that gives you your two basic wing portions that everybody loves to eat so much. Now you want to add these to the cold water brine and let these soak at room temperature for one hour. In the meantime we're going to need a lime and we're also going to need some chopped scallions. And now we can start making our sauce by adding not just one but two chipotle peppers and adobe sauce to our barbecue sauce. Also a clove of garlic. And you want to just get this all blended up thoroughly. And then you want to add this to a preheated pan and cook this on medium low heat. But you want to add in some honey and all of the juice from that lime that we cut earlier. And once you stir that in, and get it real smooth looking like this, you can add some tequila. Again, just stir it until it's smooth and repeat this process one more time. And I'm telling you, this makes the best honey chipotle barbecue sauce. Now you want to just kill the heat and let it cool down. Because now it's time to strain out our brined chicken wings. Then you want to add them to a bowl and then we're going to come right over the top of them with some olive oil. And you want to go ahead and get in there with your hands and mix these thoroughly and make sure every one of those are covered. Then I like to take them right over the top of my preheated grill and start spreading them out evenly. Now if you want to fry or bake your wings instead, that's fine. But when you're grilling, you want to cook these for about 20 minutes over medium heat and turn every 5 minutes. And what I generally do once they've hit the grill is drop that lid and let them cook for that 5 minutes at 300 degrees Fahrenheit. And then each time I open the grill is when I turn. And I repeat this process until the wings look like this. Now you can't tell me that these don't look perfect. This is exactly the way you want them. And once they are fully cooked, I just throw them in a bowl. And then just take them on inside and drown them in that honey chipotle barbecue sauce. Then you want to just give them a good toss in the bowl. Make sure they're fully covered. And then throw them down on a plate. Now all you have to do is hit them with those chopped scallions. And there you have it. Grilled honey chipotle chicken wings right here in the poor man's gourmet kitchen. Thank you for watching and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients. In a large pot, we've got our chicken. We're going to cover it with soy sauce. Now the soy sauce won't completely cover all the chicken. We're going to add some water to top it off. Add the water until you've reached the top of the chicken.
Now we're going to add some green onion. Cilantro. Some ginger. Brown sugar. And some star anise. Now just give it a good stir, make sure it's fully incorporated. We're going to bring it to a boil and once again give it a good stir. If you start with your chicken all right side up, you'll be able to keep track of which ones need flipping. And that's what we're going to do now. As you can see I've lost about an inch on the sides looking at the side of the pot. It's reduced that much already. Now flipping it over will allow the meat to absorb that much more flavor. And we're going to work it back and forth several times for the next hour while this absorbs flavor. Once again, we're flipping it back over. I do this about every 25 to 30 minutes. This will make sure that we absorb all the soy marinade. As you can see here, we've reduced a little bit more. Now it's a good time to start pulling these out and heading to the grill. Nice. Once you get them all out of your pot, you can toss the sauce or you can go to my website and look at the entire recipe for how we're going to reduce this and turn this into a sauce that we can apply over the top and over the rice. Now the grill is easy. Just load them all on there face down first so you can get that pretty nice grill mark across the top when we flip them over. Once you get them all laid down, you want to go over and baste them with some of that sauce that we had left over in the pot. Just to keep them from drying out. Now's a good time to go ahead and flip them over. As you can see, we've got our grill marks I was talking about, and they look beautiful. But we don't want to overcook these, so we're going to go ahead and kill the heat at this point, too. Baste them a little bit more, keep them from drying out. Now they're ready to pull. Plating is easy. I just like to throw down some rice in the center and then just circle the rice with a bunch of these wings. Now I used wings for the video, but I prefer chicken thighs, wings, breast, the whole works in there, but I just worked with what we had. So don't be scared to do this recipe with any chicken you've got. And there you have it. Nice golden brown, caramelized soya chicken. Right here in the poor man's gourmet kitchen. Alright, here I've got a dozen pre-cut chicken wings ready to go in the fryer. If you need a tutorial on those, stick around to the end of the video and we'll check it out. But 350 in about 8 to 12 minutes is all you need. Now in a separate bowl, we're going to add some tempura dipping sauce. This is good stuff. Followed by a little bit of rice wine vinegar, some honey, and a little bit of mayonnaise. And our star ingredient, of course, is the wasabi. Give that a good mix. And right here I'm going to add a little bit of sesame oil. This is a good time to go ahead and give it a good taste and make sure it's to your liking. Just for sweetness and spice. Here we've got some scallions. And as you can see our wings are ready to come out. Got a nice golden color on them. And we just let them drip dry for just a minute. And then we'll add them to a bowl and come back over the top with a little bit of salt. 
Give that a good shake. Now pour in the wasabi sauce. Throw in those scallions. And this is when you really give a good toss. And now you're ready to plate. And I like to come back over the top with some more of those scallions that were left in the bottom of that bowl. And then introduce one more ingredient here. This is bonito flakes. Now these are very unique. What it is is dehydrated smoked skipjack tuna. And I've only found these at an oriental market. And there you have it. Wasabi chicken wings with scallions and bonito flakes right here in the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen. Thank you for watching and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients. Now you literally can knock all of these out in just a matter of minutes, even if you've never done this before. Seriously. Now, all we're going to do is dredge it in a little bit of flour, but we're going to season it a little bit here. A little special blend here. A little cayenne, pepper, paprika, a little bit of garlic, salt. Stir that up, give it a good mix, and then we're going to dredge all the wings in it. Now I know for a fact my fryer can handle 10 to 12 of these at a time and that's in a crock pot size fryer. Now what you don't want to do is overcrowd your fryer, but what you do want to do is make sure everything you're frying is evenly coated with this here dredged flour mix, okay? So make sure you give them all a complete solid toss before you throw them in the fryer. Frying. Peanut oil. 375 degrees. Cooking time, 8 to 10 minutes. Now I know a 2 minute window seems like a pretty big gap, but that depends on how cold your wings are when they're going in. The colder they are, the longer they gotta cook. Once the time has expired, you can see that they turn up beautiful golden brown. At that point, feel safe to know that you can pull them out. So don't be shy. Go ahead and reach out and grab that handle. Lift them up and out and let them rest for a few. If not, paper towel them at least to soak up the grease. While those are resting, get yourself a good sized bowl and then dump the remaining wings in the bowl so you can toss them in your favorite sauce. Now this is what I'm going to use. The reason why is because I think it's the perfect sauce. Mostly because of how user friendly it is. It's not too spicy and it's not mild either. You know, so you get a real happy medium. Even though the label says hot, it's really not. But you'll like it all the same because all the flavor's still in it. Just give it a good toss and then get ready to serve. Oh yeah, these are the goods. Look at that, zoom in close. It's still steaming. <laughs> Oh, those look good. And I know how good they're going to taste because I've already had them. <laughs> Not to rub it in, but here you have it. Buffalo wings in the poor man's gourmet kitchen. In a bowl, I've got some fresh cut chicken wings. If you'd like to know how to slice these up, I've got a video for that as well. But we're going to dredge these in flour. Just sprinkle enough to fully coat and toss. Don't worry about the seasoning, that will come later. Using peanut oil and frying at 375 degrees will drop our wings in the fryer. Depending on the size of the wing, it should only take 5 to 8 minutes to cook each one properly. When they're done, they'll float to the top and the color will darken. Watch the edge of the bones too so you know that they look like this. They're done. They're ready to go. And once they drip dry and they're still hot, we'll throw them in another bowl and we'll use this Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning to top them off with ranch flavor. Then just give them a good toss 
back and forth in the bowl here. Look for the sides that haven't got any seasoning and just cover again with ranch. It literally is this easy. Now we'll just throw them in a bowl and serve. And there you have it. Ranch chicken wings right here in the poor man's gourmet kitchen. Thank you for watching and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.